welcome back into Delphine's Handcrafted. I'm Deborah. I'm Jocelyn. And today I am going to, well Jocelyn's going to talk a little bit too, but um, about this Amigurumi, Amigurumi Animals book and review our thoughts on it. It's called Anyone Can Crochet Amigurumi Animals, 15 Adorable Crochet Patterns by Christy Simpson, author of more than 40 books including the best-selling Huggable Amigurumi and Sweet and Simple Baby Crochet. This book I, I think is amazing. I actually like this better than some of our other Amigurumi books. It was published in 2021. Yes. You can purchase this. We got this from Joann's. It was $19.99 and then on sale. I think 20% off. I'm not sure. But you can find it on Amazon currently for... Like $14.00. In some odd sense, fourteen dollars in some odd sense. Well, on... it's thirteen dollars, but I rounded up to fourteen because okay. it's yeah. like thirteen. So you can find it on Amazon right now for probably cheaper than what we got it even possibly on sale. If it's not in your Joann's and you want to try Amazon, this book it, it starts with talking about what amigurumi is. Don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to read some because I had never really read about this before. It says that this is traced back there's notable records of knitted and crocheted dolls tracing back to the shang dynasty in china um cross-cultural contact at the start of the 17th century introduced the craft to japan then and it comes from a combination of japanese terms ami meaning crocheted or knitted and nuigurumi a stuffed doll or toy then the kawaii, say that word, is it kawaii? Kawaii, yeah. Culture in Japan in the 1970s and 80s started a renewed interest in the craft. Of course, it's become very popular lately. You can see all kinds of videos on YouTube about amigurumis. There's amigurumi wars that are occurring right now where you can make however many amigurumis you want in the month. Um, I'm usually on Jill Fiber Floozies. YouTube channel where she takes part in that also. I haven't made a lot of amigurumis this year. I have made a couple, but if you want to join the amigurumi wars, basically you're making them and you get like a ticket put in for every single one you do for a possible drawing. I think I think that one's every quarter. I'm not sure where you can win something. The book then goes on to talk about materials, needle sizes, very basic instructions on how you hold your yarn, how to hold your cook, notions, how to understand crochet patterns, gauges, things like that. Tips. The book has on every single one, it has uh, skill levels. So it depends on how many yarn balls. It shows on every pattern. So that's really nice to know going from beginner to experienced. All of the projects are well written from what I can see. I have not made these yet, but I have read through some of the patterns and they're well written. I think very easily understandable. Um, there's your skill level at the very tops for Franklin the Fox, for instance. This is a two ball one, so not easy, but the next step up. And it shows up right at the top of the pattern, very easy to find. It gives it little... Easy. Oh, it is easy. Yep. I wonder what's Skill the... Skill level is easy. Oh, beginner is the one ball, so it's easy. Um, it gives little quirky things that they name them. This one's Franklin the Fox. This says, this lively fox is ready to play. He's sneaky, so don't let him get away. Make one, two, three, four. There's never enough because the kiddos want more. And this is the very first pattern in the book. Another thing that I noticed is... Most of the patterns have no embroidery on them if you struggle with embroidery. Some do have a little bit, very little. Um, for example, this one has the eyebrows and the mouth. And, the and they're just one lines. The nose, like they're, is the nose not like a satin stitch? Oh yes, and then there's a satin stitch on the nose. You can't see it very well. It's about the same color. Um, very little embroidery. Um, is that what that's called? Did mm -hmm. I use the right word? Yes. I'm not great with embroidery um, terms. I think the pictures are amazing. Oh, you see fronts, goodness. backs, side views of all of them. And then the back of the book, in a minute, we're going to go through and show all the patterns that you can get. Um, 
there is a page that shows them all. Mm -hmm. Two pages. But we're going to show each one separately for you in case you're interested. In the back of the book, there is a glossary that talks about how to do the stitches. It will show every stitch that you need to know for these amigurumis in here. And it has nice clear photos. Very nice clear photos. Um, how to change your colors. Of course, an acknowledgement about the author. There's an abbreviation page. And then just some tips and tricks on the end, like using a bent tip yarn needle instead of a straight one. It does make it a lot easier with amigurumi. So let's get showing you the patterns that are in here. Well, not the patterns, the what you can actually make, the projects. We did show Franklin the fox. Franklin, Franklin, Franklin. He is adorable. And um, without showing the pattern here, I'm going to show you some of the... It, it shows you what it should look like along the way. They're very, very clear pictures. You can see every stitch in these pictures. So we have that front view. Here's another view of Franklin with slightly tilted to the side. And here's a back view of Franklin. Tilted to the side. Yeah, so all of these have really nice pictures with different perspectives of what this should look like in the end. Then we have Alex the bunny which is skill level easy. Mm -hmm. Very adorable. Has little, what do you call these? Looks like carpenter. Overalls. Carpenter overalls, yes. He's a farmer. Here's, it's another front picture, but Might not slightly be a farmer, but I'm calling different it a looking farmer. there. He's got a little carrot on his little. Here is the back of the bunny. And then here, once again, here are some really nice detailed, here's his leg with the little place where you would put like a, um, a hammer in his little thing there on the side. The amazing, amazing pictures. We have Spencer the koala, which is an intermediate level pattern. Aren't they adorable? Oh, wow. it's intermediate. Look at his little pop of hair at the top there. <laughs> Tuft. That's Tuft, of Tuft of hair. And that's pretty much another front picture. Here is a back picture. Then we have Tempe the jellyfish. It's, does that have a crown? Tempe? Oh my goodness, it has a crown. Yes, a cute little gold crown. And here is a close-up of the little crown. So as you can see, these are very clear pictures, very nice pictures. I'm hoping it's showing on the camera as well as what they look like in person. Um, it's, it's not, and there's just a little bit of a side view for Tempe. We have Bella the Llama. Look at this thing. Now all of these amigurumis are sort of, I'm going to call them Cute. pudgy, pudgier than a lot of the amigurumi books we have have the thinner bodies. These ones all are definitely more rounded bodies. Bella the Llama is an easy skill level. And here is a picture side view of Bella. Like it's, it's like the, we have a few that are pudgy. Let's like see if the, I can manage this one. Um, yeah. Back view of Bella. We, like it's like we have, I was trying to, I was trying to see um, how they're, because mm -hmm. the legs are very similar to the friends of Pika Pau, mm -hmm. so I was kind of, I was trying to see the, how the bodies were in, in the other ones. Yeah. Drake the giraffe is an easy skill level. I just this is actually the reason you the reason it. I purchased the book was the giraffe. I'm thinking about making a lovey using Drake the giraffe. Here is a back view of Drake. 
cute little tail there hanging down. <laughs> I think they did a wonderful job on this. We have Hermie the Hedgehog, which is an easy skill level. And Jasmine thought this was... Uh, I thought at first it was an anteater because when I was glancing at it, I thought its nose was longer than it is. So my brain thought it was an anteater. And look at this. Definitely oh my not. goodness. Look at the back of Hermie. You got a hood. All his curry, curly hair. He has a hood on his little sweater jacket thing. More of a sweater because there's no like separation in the front of that. We have Harry the Hungry Hippo eating a burger. A little hamburger. Yes. It's got some lettuce. All of them are using the safety eyes. This is a skill level easy, Harry the Hungry Hippo. Are they all recommending the same yarn? Worsted weight. Worsted weight, air and weight, basically. Worsted, worsted, air in, which is basically worsted. It looks like they're all worsted so far. We'll check as we keep going. Um, hungry, hungry. That's another view of him, but it's pretty much still frontal, so a little bit to the side. We have Buster the Bee, easy skill level, Which also air and weight. My favorite. This is Jasmine's favorite. Well, one of my favorites. I like bees. It's very cute. I think bees are cute. And here is the back of the bee. Oh, the bee has a little flower mm -hmm. on its little wings. Mm -hmm. So there's a close-up of what the wings look like for the bee. It's a cute little bee. I like bees. Then we have Micah the monkey. You like this one. Yeah. He's easy it skill level. It looks like the ch 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 bunkies. Simple. Sim symbols, symbols, yeah. Symbols. This is an easy skill level. It's also air and weight. So cute. Oh my goodness, it's tail is a little curly tail. I have ink on my hand. I don't know how I got ink on my hand. So she's, I'm going to show this because the back doesn't show it as well, but she's liking the tail there. Which here is the back and it does show the curl, but not quite the same as what that other picture did. He has a cute little hat off to the side. I don't know what I'm yawning. We have Vicky the unicorn. This is an easy skill level. Mm -hmm. Still the same weight of yarn. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Curly locks on the head. And here is oh, a side where you can see the tail. The tail, tails. I think I said that was easy skill level. Yep. It's got There's a an skirt. even closer view of the bottom. If they're they're just amazing pictures to show you exactly what you should be getting it to look like. We have Kayla, Kayla the bear. I feel like if you put skates on this one it would look like she's skating. This is skill level easy. Has there been any higher than easy? I feel like one said Intermediate. Spencer the Koala is intermediate. Alright, that's the only big picture of her. Here's another. Um, little picture. So you can see in this picture here. It, that you can tell exactly where you should be placing the eyes. You can literally count those rows yourself, uh, and I'm sure it probably says in the pattern, but I could literally see the very top of her head and count these rows and know where I should be putting these eyes. They're so clear. We have Ava the Lamb, another easy skill level. level. Another of my Look favorites. at this. Yes. Look at that body. Those stitches that are making the body very cool. 
adorable. She also has a little flower on the top of her head. And here is the back. So like the flower on the top of the head is actually a headband. As you can see, it's it's coming down behind your head there. We have Cole mm. the Penguin. This one's adorable. This is a intermediate level, an intermediate level. No. Yes, they're all using Aran weight yarn. Now, I have made amigurumis before not using the weight yarn that it asks for. It just makes them smaller or bigger. The yep. proportion's just going to change according to the weight of your yarn. Of course, you're going to have to change your hook size to make sure that you're not getting a bunch of holes or... Maybe. It's got a little puff on the tat, though. So here's the back of the little penguin. Then we have Daisy the pig. Look at this little porky pig. Which um, she has a nice little hat. Ever since, ever since Omara, when I hear the word pig, I just think of Peppa Pig. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what Peppa Pig looks like. Does There's she look like that? Her back with the hat. I'm not sure. That would be and that was the last one. So you have 15 adorable. It says adorable when they are. there. I, I don't think there's one in here I don't really like. I love them all. The bear. You don't like the bear? I don't think it looks bad or anything. It's just, I think I've just seen so many other bear oh, patterns. Oh yeah, there's so many bears. She is very cute though. Yeah. She's got a little bow on her mm -hmm. dress. It's not that I necessarily dislike it, but if I were to pick one that I would change, it would be that one. So if you're interested in this book, take a ch chance at Joann's if you want to. I'm sure you can find it other places, but you definitely can find it on Amazon currently. Um, let us know if you're interested in making any of these. And do you make amigurumi? Let us know. We do have a request. If you're interested, pick an amigurumi for us to make. And we will try and tally the results of whatever people say, and we will make one as long as probably as long as we're getting at least five or six votes. We need something to, if we get five saying five different things, we're going to need at least one to say two different things to do this. But if we get enough votes on which one to make, we, meaning probably I, will make it and we will give it away later as long as it actually turns out looking something like it should be looking <laughs> so vote on which one i should be working on to potentially give away later i hope you enjoyed this let us know if you would like us to review some other books too we do have another one we're going to go over we had shown it in a previous video it's a doll book an amigurumi doll book but yes let us know what you think mm. and we hope you enjoyed it we will see you later on the YouTube streets. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful week. You just say bye. 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 Take care.